Namaste yogis. Welcome to your Friday flow. I'm Carter and today's practice is about um, moving into radical self-love. Let's get to our mat. All right, yogis, let's find our way to child's pose. We're going to ease down into a posture that allows us to drop the gaze inward. Forehead towards the floor as you soften. This practice of radical self-love is the movement or the idea that we love ourselves 100% unconditionally for ourselves and for all those around us. And we can start by inhaling and saying to ourselves, I love my, and exhaling something that you love. I love my body. I love my humor, I love my connection, I love the way that I see the world. Just as a reminder that uh, we started from love, everything we do is grounded and rooted in love. Inhale very slowly, bring yourself up into table. Hands come under shoulders, knees, under hips, and we're going to start by wagging the tail from side to side. So as we move, we bring awareness to sensation. We co-collaborate with the body in a way that feels just right. So one of the parts of radical self-love is listening to our bodies and actively responding. All right, so roll over your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips, down dog. If it's your first down dog of the day, bend the knees a little bit and draw the belly towards the thighs, pushing the hands down and forward as we find this length and extension through the shoulders, the torso, and the spine. Once here, we can invite one heel towards the earth and the other heel towards the earth as we find the calves, the backs of the knees, hamstrings. (sighs) Let's lower into plank. And then just bring your right knee towards your right arm. May touch and may not. Inhale, send it back. Lift the hips, down up. Let's do the other side. So in the plank, left elbow or left knee to left elbow. Send it all the way back. Lift the hips, down up. Let's do that again. Right knee towards right arm. This time let's step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. And draw the hips towards the floor so you find a little extension through the hips. Inhale, right foot steps back, plank, lift the hips, down dog. Let's try the other side. Plank, left knee, left arm. Left foot steps outside of the right hand. Hips sink down. Feel it. Hmm. Foot steps back, plank. Hips lift, down dog. Let's go back to the right side. Right knee towards right arm. Right foot steps outside right hand. Let's drop that left knee down and point the left toes. Mm. Hug that right knee towards that right shoulder. A little bit of movement from side to side. Roll over the left toes, lift the left knee. Step the right foot back, plank. Hips lift, down dog. Plank, left knee, left arm, left foot steps forward, right knee drops, right toes point, hips sink down, left knee towards left arm, Hmm. roll over the right toes, lift the right knee, left foot steps back, plank, lift the hips down, dog, and let's do it again, right knee towards right arm, right foot steps forward, Left knee drops, left toes point. This time, take the right hand, take it on the right thigh. A little external rotation 
as you roll onto the outside of that right foot. Draw your right shoulder and right elbow back. Lift the gaze up towards the ceiling. Mm. This is right groin outside of the right thigh, right hip, left hip flexor. Right hand down, roll over your left toes, lift the left knee, right foot steps back, plank. Lift the hips down, dog. Ooh. Just building some awareness and some heat. Left knee, left arm, left foot steps forward. Right knee drops, right toes point. Left hand to left thigh. Uh, one thing I want you to be careful of is I want to make sure that left ankle is in front of the left knee. So if you're back here, grab your foot, scoot it forward. Also, you can scoot your whole body to the right to make sure you're having a little support on the outside of that left foot. But we're going to take the left hand, left thigh, externally rotate. You don't have to press. And then twist to the left. Left shoulder draws back. Heart is lifting. Chin is lifting. Hips are drawn down. Mmm. Awesome, left hand down, roll over the right toes, lift the right knee, left foot steps back into plank, lift the hips down, dog. All right, ooh, let's do it again. Right knee, right arm, right foot steps forward. If you need to again, grab it, pull it forward. Left knee drops, left toes point. Right hand to right thigh, roll onto the outside of the right foot. If you start to collapse in the right ankle, you can flex the foot to make sure it's supported. And then this time we're going to slide the right hand behind the back. We're going to gaze underneath the right shoulder towards that left foot. And then if it's available, it may not be able, not maybe, it may not be available. Bend your left knee, hoo, hoo, hoo. right hand reaches back for that left foot, ankle, or shin. And if you need more, draw that heel towards the hip. Oof. Mm. Awesome, exhale, let it go. Right hand down, roll over the left toes, lift the left knee, right foot step back plank. Up to down dog, oh, up to down dog. <laughs> Not to be mixed up with up dog, down dog, but up to down dog. <laughs> ah, make myself laugh. It's okay. <laughs> Into plank, left knee, left arm. Left foot steps forward. Again, if it draws back, just scoot it forward. Right knee drops, right toes point. If you need to, scoot your body to the right. Left hand to left thigh. Externally rotate. Draw the left shoulder back. Lift the heart. If you need it, you may be able to do one side but not the other. So right knee bends, left hand reaches back. Ooh, that's a doozy. Maybe just hanging on is enough. If you need more, you can pull a little bit. This is plenty for me right here. Mm. Awesome, exhale, let it go. Left hand down, roll over the right toes, lift the right knee. Left foot steps back into plank. Lift the hips, down dog. So we're gonna do one more little thing here. Let's see, let's explore. Plank, right foot steps forward. Let's do this. Take that right knee, rest it on the right tricep. Let's scoot the left hand back a little bit. This is a little bit of a cheater pose. Take your left elbow, see if you can rest it into the ribs, and then we're gonna lean forward and we're going to see if we can bring the right foot up off the ground. If you have the ability, maybe you bring the back foot off the ground. Send it back, plank, hips lift, down dog. Plank, left foot outside left arm, and again, just rest that knee into the tricep. Take this right hand back a little. Lean forward. Maybe left foot comes off the ground. Now, I got a bad right shoulder. I can't lift that back leg on this side. Send it back. Plank. Down dog. Whew. Drop your knees. Point your toes. Heroes pose. Hips back towards heels. So through all that work, we may get a little fatigued on the wrists, so we're going to just take care of the wrists. So let's take a right hand, 
grab the left wrist and give it a little massage. Massage the palm. Take the hand, right hand, grab the tips of the fingers, press the palm towards the front of your mat. We'll draw those fingertips to the left. Mm. And then exhale, let it go. Shake it out. And let's try the other side. So left hand grabs the wrist. A little massage at the hand. We do a lot of, if you do a lot of work on the computer, all right, your mouse hand is doing a ton of work, clicking and moving. And so I just wanna make sure the hands are taken care of, especially after all this work we did with the hands. Left hand grabs the right fingertips, draw the palm forward, fingertips towards the forearm, and then swivel those fingers a little to the left. Ooh. This is always good to do throughout your day as well, if you're at the computer for a long time. It opens up through the, the wrists and the forearms. Shake it out. And then we're gonna take both hands down and we're gonna rotate the fingers out. And then rotate them so the fingers are facing the knees. And if you need more sensation, you can scoot your hands forward or draw your hips back. And then rotate those hands forward and then roll on the top of one hand and just press down a little. And then the other hand. All right, let's come into down dog. <laughs> Bring your big toes a little bit closer together and lift your right heel towards the ceiling. Take your right knee towards the belly, chest. Step your right foot forward. Swivel your back foot so the bottom of the foot is flat. Arms reach up. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Once you're here and stable, bend the elbows, hands and elbows draw back. Take your right arm underneath your left arm, either grab your shoulders or right hand grabs left wrist or palm. Hinge at the waist so the elbows come forward. Bring the weight to your right foot. Come onto your left toes. And then very slowly take the left foot up off the ground. Hmm. Elbows are away from the chest, hands away from the face. You're bending and straightening the right knee to feel some power and some stability. And really gracefully back to your warrior one legs. Lift the torso on up. Unwind your arms to warrior two, so widen the stance. Swivel your palms up and down. Move the shoulders a little bit. Reverse warrior, your right arm reaches up and over. Little gaze underneath that right arm is that left arm is nice and relaxed. Hmm, take your right forearm to your right knee or thigh, swivel your right palm up. Slide the left arm up and over your left ear, extended side angle. Left shoulder, left hip draws back. Right knee presses out towards right pinky toe. Hmm. Look down to your right big toe. Left hand comes down. Roll into your right toes. Right hand comes down, pigeon left side, or right side, <laughs> drop to your left knee. Lengthen, so you're gonna walk the hands back as you extend, a little square of the hips. And then this time we're gonna lower to your elbows, and then we're gonna walk the elbows a little to the right. We're gonna take this left arm, we're gonna extend and reach, press the palm down, drop the left shoulder. Ooh. Left hip bone drops towards the floor. Ooh. Let's check in with radical self-love. Inhaling, I love my something that you love about yourself. Again. This is not ego-driven either. It's not being conceited or anything. That's like whatever you love. Love it. 100% love it all. Hands come underneath shoulders, lift yourself on up, and roll over your left toes, lift your left knee, right foot steps back into down dog. Pedal feet and knees, wag the tail. Big toes a little closer together, left heel towards the ceiling, left knee towards the belly chest, step the foot forward, swivel, back foot warrior, one arms reach up. So I'm always making sure that you're stable before you go into anything. 
and then elbows bend, hands and elbows draw back. Left arm underneath right arm, left hand grabs right wrist or palm, hinge a little forward. Weight comes to the left foot, and then come off that back foot. Elbows away from the chest, hands away from the face. Nice long neck, bend and straighten the left knee just to get a sense of the power. And gracefully, back to your warrior one legs, lift the elbows up. Unwind your arms, twist to the right. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two, widen the stance. Swivel the palms up and down to move the shoulders. As you sink low into the left knee, reverse warrior. Left arm reaches up and over that left ear. Hmm. Right arm is soft, opening up through the left ribs. And then left forearm to left knee, swivel the left palm up. Right arm reaches up and over that right ear. Nice and long through the right side body. We're opening up through the heart, through the pelvis. Left knee's pressing out towards left pinky toe. Nice, look down to that left big toe. Hands come down. Pigeon left side. Lengthen through torso nice and tall. A little bit of movement from side to side. Lower elbows. And then we're gonna take this right hand and we're gonna to start to reach out to the left. I'm gonna press the palm down and drop the right shoulder. Ooh. And then this right hip bone drops towards the floor. And then again, we're gonna check in with this uh, radical self-love. So the last time we take a big inhale and I love my, and then we said something about that we love. This time, the inhalation is I love my, whatever you're working on. So if you're working on your patience or you're working on your empathy or you're working on whatever, love it as well as the thing that you love, right? So if you're working on your patience, I love my patience. If you're working on being present, I love that I am present. Or if you're working on anger, like a lot of us have anger issues, right? So it's, I love the way I manage my anger. So love all the processes, even the ones that you are um, practicing. I don't want to say fixing because... Our self-love does not come from action. Our self-love comes from uh, innate um, manifestation of who we are. Right? So self-love is not performance-based at all. doesn't matter what you look like. doesn't matter what you do, how much money you make, your status, or anything. You can have self-love no matter what. Hands under shoulders, gently lift yourself on up. Roll over your right toes, lift your right knee, left foot steps back, down dog. Pedal feet, knees, wag your tail, shake your head. Mm. Big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. Ah. Lower into plank, lower the elbows down, forearm plank. Three breaths. Tuck your tailbone, push through the heels, lift the chin. You can say, I love my limitation. I love my um, struggle. I love whatever I'm into right now. It's all right. Hmm. Drop your knees down. Draw the hips back. Cross your ankles. Find your way to your back. Once you get there, extend your arms up over your head and stretch. From your fingers all the way down to your toes. Mm -mm -mm. And then draw the knees towards the belly, chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a little squeeze. Feet to the floor, butt hips distance. Bridge pose. Press through your feet. Lift your hips. Lift your mid back. Maybe lift your upper back. You can interlace your fingers behind your back if that's available. Squeezing the triceps and the sides of the hands into the ground, lifting the hips. And let's do this. Wherever you are, walk your feet a little closer towards one another. Straighten your left knee so the thighs stay right where they are, so the heels towards the front of the mat. Lift the left heel towards the ceiling. Lift your hips. 
bring your left foot down. Let's do the other side. So straighten the left knee. So foot forward first, then up towards the ceiling. Lift your hips. Right foot comes down. Lift your hips a little bit more. Release your hands. Slowly lower the hips all the way down. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. And then extend your left leg, draw your right knee towards your belly chest, squeeze in here. And then take your left hand on the outside of the right knee. And then drop that leg to the left. Arm, right arm opens up, chin drops towards the right shoulder. Big inhale, slow exhale. Again, the practice is reminding ourselves that of course we love what we know best, ourselves. The question is always like, if you don't unconditionally love yourself, the thing that we know best, how do we expect to love anyone else without resentment? Because we should be feeling the love as well. So first and foremost, we need to continually practice on loving ourselves unconditionally, no action required, right? So I don't need to earn my love. It's already there. Right knee up. Switch your legs, straighten the right knee, bend the left knee, squeeze it in, left knee, Right hand invites the left knee to the right. Mm. Left arm extends out like a wing. Soften the left shoulder as the chin drops towards the left side of the chest. Soften the belly. A friend of mine explained that the process of radical self-love is like if your fist is clinched, you just unclinch it. So try it, squeeze your fist, and then there's a little stress and tension and just unclench and it's like, oh, it's, it's available for me right there. And this takes, pra this is not easy, it takes practice, right? All of our social systems are linked towards getting love, right? Nice inhale, left knee comes back up to center. Both knees towards the belly, chest squeeze. Lift your head and shoulders off the ground like a ball. Maybe bring the tailbone off the ground a smidge. And if you need more sensation, arms reach in between the legs, grab the bottoms of the feet. Happy baby feet lift up. Widen and then lower the head and shoulders down. Pull on your right foot as you rock a little to the right. Pull on the left foot as you rock a little bit to the left. A little bit here and there. Guiding our way through our day with loving kindness. Exhale, release your feet. Shavasana heels towards the corners of your mat. Little external rotation of your thighs. And for this Shavasana, let's try this. Take your left palm to your hand. Uh, sorry, left palm to your heart and take your right hand on top of the left hand. So both hands are on the heart. Draw the chin down a little bit so you're long through the back of the neck. Take a nice big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. Nothing is stopping us from loving ourselves unconditionally other than ourselves. Feel your hands resting on your chest. Feel your beating heart. You are enough right here and right now. Again, no action necessary for you to gain your love. It's there. We just soften into it. Of course, I love my body. Of course, I love all my internal processes. 
my characteristics, even the things that I judge and critique, I still love myself. A moment to be here now. Allow love to radiate in and around you. Take the hands to the side body, palms up. In this moment, you are safe, supported, and connected to all things. And the closer you get to loving yourself, the closer you are to the divine nature of all things, the beloved. Gently brush your thumbs over your fingertips. Start to wiggle your toes and gently start to deepen your breath. Rolling your wrists and your ankles, gently rocking your head from side to side. Slowly extending the arms up over your head and stretch from your fingers all the way down to your toes. Mm -mm -mm. On the exhalation, relax and soften. There is no better place than right here and right now. We have made it this far. Let's see if we can move through the rest of our day with loving kindness. Drawing the knees towards the belly, wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a hug. Right arm reaches up over your head, roll to your right side. Ah. Grateful for this practice, grateful for this day, grateful for this body. Compressing your hands into the floor, bring yourself up into a comfortable seat. Nice long spine. And once again, let's take the right hand to the heart, left hand on top, chin. Each thought is filled with love. Each word that we express is filled with love. Each action we take is rooted in love. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today, sharing your practice. Have a beautiful, loving day, and namaste. Mm. Awesome work, yogis. Uh, if you like this practice, give me a thumbs up, maybe a heart. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments section below. I love you guys. Stay healthy, stay strong, and peace. Mm -hmm.